Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves. And so this is just a quick update because the energy read that I put out this morning um, with the 1111 gateway, which, which was at the top of the reading, I've heard back from the lady and she has um, said that I could share her, share her email because she is actually in contact with her twin. And what I really love is when I get confirmation from people back who are actually in physical contact with their twin and see them all the time. And so, which is why this is so amazing, because, you know, this is really, this really makes you realize that actually what we're experiencing with the energies is filtering through into their, um, into their consciousness. So, she says, Nikki, I just got home and listened to the energy read. I was in tears and it was so spot on. My twin and I, uh, he had sent me a text um, opening the door to communication and we had just had breakfast together. We haven't seen each other in over a month and he told me that he didn't feel ready due to financial issues. Which if you watch the reading, it says that the thing that's holding them back is around financial and practical constraints. So she says that he is um, in January, that he's in a particular job and is in January they're receiving a new contract that gives him more stability. And then he told me that he wanted to clear some of his things out because he brought a massive amount of sneakers and hats. Now that's also quite funny because trainers, we've had messages around that because trainers are also about grounding the energies into um the you know the the um grounding energies into our reality right so it's quite funny that he's mentioned hat uh the, the sneakers and also hats <laughs> that's just anyway i digress okay so he was the same man but i felt a different spirit he was more confident more loving and more open this was after you had done a healing for me the other day I did have my doubts and sadness and questioned if he loved me or not. And I have been looking within to empower myself. I'm going to be 100% honest. All of this happened before I received your email with the reading link. So I truly believe we are on the right path. The text, our meeting his explanation of not being ready, was hours before the reading. And the text, uh, sorry, you were so spot on. He talked about being ready to have children once the contract goes through. And the mirroring in the reading confirms we are twin flames. I feel such joy writing this email to you and I am oh so ever thankful. I'm going to leave the decision up to you if I should do a healing or the eight question read to complete the package. And she says, I'm definitely getting the book and definitely getting on the crystal grid. <laughs> I think, you know, that, and that's what's amazing, right? When you have that, like, unwavering confirmation, like, in the reality. I mean, it's just so brilliant. And so the other thing is I've just been channeling letters today and I just want to reaffirm what has coming through is about writing a letter tonight which says everything about what you want to tell your twin, how much your love is going to, what's your love going to do for you. And then burn it and put it out and do that around your full moon intentions. Because another lady has just sent me a picture of this stone. Now, once I get, and it's a picture of a stone that she took a photo of. Now, I once gave my twin a stone and it was a magic stone. And I told him to keep it on him. And um, I infused it with Reiki and um, and basically said that it would help him and it would heal him. And uh, the stone I called Brian, <laughs> just randomly, I was like, it's, you know, to myself, I was like, it's Brian the magic stone and I, I will charge up Brian. Now, um, two things have happened today. This morning I got a telephone call by somebody and they just said, my name's Brian. And the second one was then this lady who sent me a picture of this stone. And so I was like, oh, I know that all of these things are coming together. So the other message is, whatever you are guided to do, right, as long as you're following it from your heart and your inner ding, your own intuition, then that is your route home. 
So all of these things that you might have been, just like I was guided to give my twin a magic stone and have done loads of things, you know, over the years about doing this and doing that and da da da. And you have to know that all of those things are all about following your own jigsaw pieces to put back together to put you on the right path to your union. And there is no right or wrong in this, right? The, the only way that you can really know what you're doing is to follow your heart. And I hope that, um, that by doing, you know, I hope that that's, you know, that's what I just want for everyone on this journey is to really be able to follow your heart. And uh, that's what I hope I can help with because seeing these, you know, seeing these confirmations back is just so amazing. And I feel really, really, really lucky to be part of people's journeys. Um, and so I just want to say again, thank you to everyone that's coming to me for letters, for readings, for healings. Because being able to put somebody out of that, out of their crazy mind, you know, doubting and all of that and being able to put them straight into their heart again to say, no, I know that this is real, um, is an amazing thing. I feel so lucky to be able to do that for people. And, um, and that's what, all I want for people on this journey is to know that your reunion is literally set in stone. And if you've woken up to what this journey is, then it really is a pathway to shine your light as bright as you can. And um, and everything else will fall into place. It really will. Um, it will just happen when the timing is right. So there you go. I just wanted to share and to say magic is in the air. The other thing is magic moon. I keep hearing you know, make your wishes with the magic moon. You know, the moon energies have such a huge part to play in this. So make your wishes to the magic moon because the magic moon wants to make magic for you. All right, hope that helps. Take care. Bye.